Hey guys, welcome back to a new video in which we'll continue building our wallet app UI. So we'll build the spending breakdown and spending graph. Okay, let's see what we did so far. So in the previous video, we built the stop bar and also the card section and the actions. But now in this video, we'll build the spending breakdown and the graph, which is the spending statistics graph. Now let's actually see what we did. As you can see, here is what we did. We built the top bar, the card, the actions. And before getting started, if you want to build complex and dynamic Jetpack Compose user interfaces along with industry level Android apps and Kator backends, check my premium course to learn more. I will leave you the link in the description. Okay, let's continue by closing this. And then right here, we first want a spacer. So spacer of a height 40.dp. And then we create a new function right here called spending section, for example. Okay. And then let's actually create this. Okay. We'll also need to pass a modifier to it. So let's just add this auto completion and then let's copy this and create a new file right here called spending section in which we'll have a composable spending section. Let's create some space and we can close this and start with it. But let's actually see what it is in the emulator in the other app, which is this one. We have the title, a laser with a bunch of items. So for that, we first need these items, which are in the end a list. And I'm just going to paste the list and the data class as well. So here is list. We have this random color function. Maybe we don't have, we didn't create this yet. So let's create it. Let's go to the main activity to create it. So right here, composable. Maybe it's called, I don't, I don't remember the name. So here's the name, random color. This function won't take any modifier. Instead, it will just take a main brightness variable, which is an integer. So I mean, brightness like this of type integer. And then I'm just going to paste the wrist. And here is the wrist. Okay. Actually, it needs to return a color since we want a color. And then by default, the main bright brightness, let's say 50, for example. And here we use that when we generate the red and green blue color that we eventually combine to give us a color. And the reason why we have this main brightness is that we want the color to be a little bright. So as you can see, the color is bright so we can put black text and black icons on, on, on the color, but still be visible because otherwise if the brightness was too low, for example, then we might not be able to do that. So we want to increase the brightness to be quite bright so we can actually see these things okay that's why we have this brightness now let's go back to our function here okay actually the function should not be a composable function because we don't really need any composable in there and that's it there is the list a spending item the first one is food we can also see that in here so as you can see the first one is food and then the amount or price maybe this could be price as well the color which is uh, randomly generated and then the icon at first it's restaurant for shopping it's shopping bag for subscriptions it's subscriptions and then for health directions run and here is the dt class okay now let's actually build that right here and as well as you can see it's just a title and then a laser with a bunch of items so a text at first that's what we need and that is spending breakdown like this we can go to a new line to actually there is add a font family that is going to be play so that's the font you want to use i don't remember the name actually let me just go back i don't remember what i called that actually i don't have it in here okay <laughs> i thought i added it in there but we will add it for the other font that we'll use in fact right now just let me call this by writing font like that actually so we want the play font and then we want to convert that to two font family. And then the font size is going to be 25.sp. Import sp. We want a spacer in here that is going to have a height of 16.dp. So between the uh, title and the items. And then we can now create a composable for the spending list to spend it, just like that, spending list. So composable spending list so we want a lazy row actually yeah a lazy row and then we want to pass our modifier actually here yes it is that modifier for the items we don't have to pass them because we already have them so we want to pass our modifier 
and then we want to give it some content padding that is going to be padding values horizontally 16.dp so what this means is i will have a 16dp padding between every item now we can create our item so right here composable spending item like that and let's see what we want we want a card inside the card we'll have a column that holds the icon the text the other text okay so that is going to be an elevated card honestly we don't need any on click since we won't click or anything we want to pass a modifier to it that is going to be my modifier and then maybe i just give it the size right here this is going to be 150.dp and i want to clip it or we don't have to if we check the card we have this shape okay so we can pass that directly to, sh to shape instead of the modifier i don't know if it's going to be the same thing but we can pass a shape that is around its oops around its corner shape of 16 dp or let's even go for 20. and as i said inside it we now have a column that will take a modifier modifier dot fill max size and then we want to give it a background that is going to be spending items dot or actually i need to pass the item right here that's something i forgot so it's spending item of type spending item so spending item dot color and i want to give it an alpha of 0 0.5 but the thing is that this is how the item looks like if we switch to dark theme you see the color is still bright but if we normally put that color on this black background it wouldn't be this bright so the solution is to put it on a white background and that is giving it another background before this background of just white color okay so we always have that brightness that we want and then we want to give it some padding of 20.dp also want to give it some vertical arrangement of space between which means we just want to have as much space as possible uh, from this icon and these two if, because actually we'll have another column to put these two in so that we have as much space as we can between them so for that let's start with the icon like this that is an image vector and technically it's my spending item dot icon and then the content description can be spending item dot name it will have a tint that is black so color dot black okay but you want to give it a little bit of an alpha of 0.8 f and then the last thing we want is to give it a size with a modifier modifier dot size let's say 33 dot dp this is it for the icon now we'll have another common and the reason why actually i'm not going to have the common but i'm just going to put those first maybe this is exactly what we want the and also you just auto completed for me i'm not going to create the other common i wanted to show you to see why i want to or i need it and then i will add it when we see why we actually need it so first of all i want the text that will show the name and we want to use this font family okay in fact we want to add the other font right here in my not in theme but in type right here so that is i'm going to delete this then i'm going to call font family or we'll just font like this and that is going to be r it's this one dot font dot now arabic and then since we want a font family you can write dot to font family this technically means i shouldn't assign a font that will be the default font for our app okay so that's I just wanted to show you that adding the font right here will make your font actually the default font but one other thing you want to add all the variants of your fonts so bold tiny extra bold medium normal all of those you want to add them and then you can add them like this as you can see we have title large label small body large we have a bunch of these and for each one you can define a different version of your font okay so that's it for this text let me just close everything here and maybe i want to make it a little bit smaller and for the color it could be 0 0.7 and then once you create the other text we just copy and paste this one for the amount now and since that needs a string we can add dot to string and since that's the price actually we can put a dollar sign right here and then add a plus like this anyway we want to make it bigger of 20 dp and then the color maybe i don't want to add any alpha to it but now we need to define the font family so let me just add it right here so font since i'm going to use play again uh, that is going to be font like that play and that's it 
actually. I just need to call that in my lazy row. So that is going to be items. And that is my spending items dot size. So I want to give the size what I can do items in index spending items right here. I get the index and the spending item and I can use any one of them I want. So here I want to call my spending items function passing my spending item and I don't really need to pass a modifier since I already give it a size or if I want I can give it a size from here but then I just want to have a spacer in the end which is something I forgot to do maybe I put that in here so spacer height not hash code but a height of 16.dp let's close this go to our main activity since that's it and let's run our app so this is the original app this is now what we're working on let's run this and see if we are going to actually see our items or not now we can actually see the items but i don't have that padding between the items horizontally and i know why because this padding values in here doesn't add padding between the items in fact it adds it in the start of my laser row and in the end that's what i didn't think of so this actually should be width why because this means we are just adding a width a space in the width between every items as you can see here is we have our space now but still this one needs to be pushed which is the title using a modifier and we can still assign our modifier to it but maybe here we do want to say dot padding horizontally maybe 16.dp uh no 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 we don't want to write that let's just add a modifier to our text like that yeah now the text looks great maybe you want to push it even more something like 22. yeah that's better that's it as you can see our top bar does hide when we scroll now we want to add the charts or the graph you could say so in my main activity let's see how that looks like first so we want to have a space right here again a title and then the graph that we will make out of a list okay let's go back to our app the first thing we want is another spacer of 40.dp again so just like that one and then that is going to be let's say spending graph for example or charts whatever you want to call it we want to add a modifier to it this is going to be a modifier i want to make it fill the max width and then i want to have some padding horizontally of 22.dp okay and then in the end we want to have another spacer so just space from the bottom let's see that as you can see we have this space in the bottom right here so it's going it's going to be quite big at 100 dp good let's copy this name create a file for it that is spending graph a composable spending graph take some modifier and we'll use the library that we added in the beginning of the video probably the previous video to actually create this chart for us okay that means we want to paste our list again so that is bar chart data which comes from this bar chart library that we added remember if we go to our build.gradle we have this composed charts that creates these charts okay um let me just close everything so we have items the first one we could also check our app the first one is december which means the date and then 2nd december 3rd of december and so on and then the value which is the price or how much we spent 123 dollars 160 204 and so on and it shows up like this the color is again going to be randomly generated but then we will define a main brightness of 50 instead of 80. that's why we have this main brightness since we want to change this brightness dynamically based on why on what we need it for you could also define the random color for these actions that would be cool if you want to but let's create now our chart but first of all we need a title and that is exactly going to be the same as my spending section title so let me just copy it with the padding actually or with the spacer the only thing is that now it's going to be called spending statistics okay that's the difference it's going to be the same thing and then we'll have a composable called charts 
charts or graph as you want we'll add that right here so charts then we can pass our modifier to it modifier like this and then let's create it right here before that let's go to our main activity and give it a height from that uh, modifier and so for the spanning graph we can give it a height of let's say 200 dot dp okay now that is going to be a bar chart like this that takes a bar chart data and that is a bar chart data actually bar chart data passing my bars that are my spending by the list okay we want to specify the modifier we want to assign the modifier let's say modifier is going to be my modifier and then we want to define some variables for it maybe it could already work right now i'm not sure let's just run the app and see i don't know and it's already there as you can see like we, it's already working but i'm just going to show you how to actually adjust it and uh, like change the color of things or change the thickness of the lines or whatever so let's start with the x-axis drawer which means this line in the bottom right here so that is going to be an, a simple x-axis drawer and then we can give it an axis line thickness of so let's say 2.dp and then x-axis but an axis line color that is going to be material theme dot color scheme dot on background we can give it a copy of 0.1 f now it's quite a little bit transparent and then we can add a y axis drawer because we want to bring the things inside here the dates to be above the bars okay so that is going to be again a simple y axis drawer which is this one and then we want the label value formatter and that is going to be the text we want in there so dollar i'm sorry this is actually for these in here i just made a mistake and then it dot two ends which means we're just trying to show the dollars as you can see the dollar sign i made a mistake this is actually for the y-axis which is the amount we spend in here and then we can also change the line color and stuff so just like this as you can see it can change as you want it to be the axis line thickness and then the axis line color and then the last thing is the label drawer which means now what's written in in these bars we can change that as well that's going to be a simple label drawer and we can now change the position of it that is going to be drawer location we can do drawer dots outside yep now it's a lot better as you can see we can change the size like text size maybe label text size of 15.sp to make it a little bit big you know you get the idea you can change this as you want and as you can see the ui is pretty much the same as the other app they are quite identical and you build this with data of course you can make this even better by actually using the same data in here somehow with the bars so or the data in the bars represents the breakdown because right now i'm just putting uh, random items i'm just showing you how to build ui not exactly how to have some logic in there but you can definitely take that to the next level so now we built this cool looking ui and yes this is for this video in which we build this cool looking user interface all in jetpack compose from the ground up hope you learned how to use compose colors text top bars key folds commons and laseros all of these stuff that we used in this really beautiful design if you want to learn more about building industry over android apps with cool user interfaces and also clean architecture kit or backends and all those stuff check out my premium course in the description and if you want to support me subscribe and leave a like to this video see you in the next video and bye